What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler, and in today's video, we're going to be going on a Funko Pop hunt. And like I mentioned in the last couple of videos this week, I mentioned that I just came back from doing a pro wrestling tour across Ontario and Manitoba the last couple of weeks. And so now that I'm back home from this tour, I basically have decided that with some of the money that I made on tour, I'm of course going to blow it on some Funko Pops, which I actually don't know what GameStop has been like the last couple of weeks or whether they've gotten new Pops or just the same Pops sitting on the shelf. However, knowing my local GameStop when it comes to the summertime, usually there is a decent amount of stocks that happen quite frequently. And one one of the pops that I do need, I actually hid in one of the sections, which hopefully I can go back to that section and actually find that pop. So without further ado, let's head over to my local GameStop and see what pops they have in stock. Alrighty, so we are inside of GameStop, and the first thing I notice are the Yu-Gi-Oh pops. Of course, we got Yami Yugi, Seto Kaiba, which is actually at a more reduced price. Kind of wish I got it then. But then we got Ojama Yellow, Joey Wheeler, Jaden Yuki, the Harpy Lady, which I believe this is the common. Yes because of course the chases do have different boxes but I still have to get this one and then there is also the GameStop exclusive Harpy Lady 3 which I have yet to get also and it does have that GameStop Canada exclusive sticker instead of the plain boring one that is in the States but nonetheless it's still cool to see that there's also both of the elemental heroes right there stacked up against each other and then we got Chaz Princeton and I believe right here we do have a winged Karibo which is still a pop that somehow I haven't picked up yet yet it's been here for the last couple of weeks. And then some pops I forgot that GameStop was getting because they're normally Target exclusives in the US is the new Star Wars like retro art series I believe it's called where it's kind of like the comic book sketching. I really love the design of these pops especially the way that it makes the hair stand out. I think they did a great job on that. And then there's also the Jar Jar Binks and that looks pretty cool. I really like how the orange sticks out. And then last but not least we do have the Darth Maul which honestly I love this design more than I even love the OG version of this pop, which is what this pop is based off of, but I like the coloring more than what's pulled off on the OG. And then we do have some Mandalorian pops. We got Kerrigan from, is it Diablo? Nope, StarCraft. But speaking of that plain old boring GameStop exclusive sticker from the US, there it is right there. Give you a more closer view of that. And then I notice here the Supersonic, which most likely is the common, but we do have right here an anime pop in the form of, I believe it is the upper cut Luffy, which is normally exclusive to, I believe, Box Lunch in the U.S., so there is times where GameStop here in Canada will get Box Lunch exclusives, and then we do have some Nickelodeon Pops. I forgot that I actually noticed while on tour across Ontario and Manitoba, I did see Jimmy Neutron, Auto Rocket, and then there's also Reggie Rocket, which is really cool, and I think I did see a couple of more Nickelodeon Pops in this section. And yep, there they are right here with the Eliza Thornberry, which is really awesome to see, and then there is is also Donnie Thornberry, which is a really awesome detailed pop, especially with those teeth and the tongue sticking out. And of course, right here, we do have the Pokemon section, which we have Chimchar, Grookey, Luxray, Snubble, Umbreon, and Wooloo, which I feel like Wooloo and Chimchar are some new pops and Snubble that I haven't seen here since the last time I was here. And I'm not sure if this is the common or the exclusive, which you can tell there's kind of a different box art design. So I think it is one of each realistically. This one is the regular version. There's no sticker and this could be possibly yeah it is actually the flocked exclusive normally exclusive to i think it's chalice collectibles really like the way the purple looks on the flocking of this pop something else i noticed here that's new since the last time i was here are the new miles morales pops so right here we do have the miles morales upgraded suit there is also a different miles morales right there with hair sticking out and then right here which i believe was a lot of people's favorite of this set is the venom that's a part of this this is for the spider-man 2 video game and this is a pretty decent pop. But I wonder, is this a part of the Marvel lineup or the games lineup? Because it doesn't say pop games, but it is only number 900. And I believe Marvel had already surpassed 1,000 a couple of years ago. And then we got some of the 8-bit X-Men 97. And then a random restock of the Blue Jays mascot, which is pretty cool to see in case you didn't get it the first time around. And then something that I noticed released a while back in the States, but hasn't really arrived in Canada, are the new crossover pops of Stitch with dis different Disney characters. It's the Stitch in costume. We got 
got Stitch as Beast, Stitch as Cheshire Cat right there, and then we also have Stitch as Pongo, which is really awesome to see. These are some pretty decent pops, but I do like the Alien Remix much better. And then up there, I do see a six inch one piece pop, which is pretty cool to see, and then some Attack on Titan, which is pretty sweet, and then the section of bigger size pops right here, and then some newer pops I noticed here are those new Batman pops like Batwing. And then right here, we do have a couple of the new Inside Out 2 pops. We got Envy on Memory Orb, which I believe, did I show this off the last time? I don't remember, but I feel like I didn't see all of the pops here the last time I was here. And then we got the Joy right here, which is pretty cool, which it so happens that right after I film this, I'm actually going to see Inside Out 2 in the theaters. And then another new thing that I noticed here is the pop covers, I believe, of Sirius Black with that wanted poster. That's a really awesome scene as terms to The Prisoner of Azkaban, which is my personal favorite Harry Potter movie. So that's really cool that they pulled this off in pop form, especially the way they had the facial expression also. And then something I don't think I've seen the last time I was here, maybe it was, I just didn't notice, is the General Grievous and Jar Jar Binks 2 pack. And I think definitely the last new thing that I noticed here is the Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul 2 pack, normally a Funko Shop exclusive in the US as a part of the Phantom Menace 25th anniversary set. So that's pretty cool to actually see that. And is it just me or does it look very different for the box art there with the face and the actual face of this pop. I wonder, is this an error? All right, so I picked up a different one that was on this wall and it looks to be the same thing. Why does it look so weird from the box art to the actual pop itself? Maybe it's just me though. And then before we leave to go see Inside O2, I wanted to go to the U2 section to notice that there still is that Yami Yugi U2s and it's actually at a more reduced price. Do I actually get it and dive into the U2 set for Yu-Gi-Oh? Maybe, but then one last pop I wanted to show you guys that I noticed is the Banjo-Kazooie pop game covers exclusive to GameStop, which is really awesome to see. But my biggest question is, where was the Crash Bandicoot game covers? Because it definitely didn't arrive in Canada yet. Anyways, I am back from GameStop and of course, the movies, because I did mention that I was going to see Inside Out 2 at the movie theater right after I was at GameStop. And let me tell you, if you have not seen Inside Out 2 yet, I definitely recommend it. I've told people already that this may have now cracked my top five personal favorite Pixar movies. Enough of me talking about Inside Out 2. I did obtain one Funko Pop while I was there, although there were some really cool Funko Pops like I showed in the video. And there was also one that I didn't get to film until afterwards, which was a GameStop exclusive Knuckles and Rouge 2 pack, which is really cool to see. That was not the pop that I picked up because I already do own the TargetCon 2022 exclusive Flocked Knuckles. I was okay with just that one because it's Flocked and I didn't need the the one with Rouge, even though that Knuckles does have a new molding. I skipped out on that two pack, but the one pop I did show you guys, and it actually was a pop that I actually hid, but they must have found again and put it back into that section, or maybe it was a restock, because I actually hid it in the clearance section so that no one would think of finding it there. And that pop is for the Yu-Gi-Oh set, and that is the GameStop exclusive Harpy Lady 3. So let's check out that pop animation logo. We got the Yu-Gi-Oh! logo number 1604 in the animation lineup crazy that they are now almost at the 2000 mark for this set and there's the pop art form and of course that gorgeous GameStop Canada exclusive sticker and then we look at the side profile right here uh, you can see a different side of the Harpy Lady, which is cool. Pop animation, Harpy Lady 3 across the side and a part of the pop art form. Let's check out that side profile. The same one you normally see in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pops with like the gray hieroglyphic background with a little bit of red and gold there. And then let's check out the back of this set or the back of the box, which has the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX set that this is pretty much a part of. So the top two being the different elemental heroes. Then we got the Harpy Lady, Ojama Yellow, Wayne Karibo, Chaz Princeton, and Jaden Yuki. So I'm fairly close of finishing off this newer wave of pops. I think the only couple that I need are both of the Harpies ladies, the Common and the Chase, and then there's also the Wing Karibo that I still have yet to pick up, even though last time I was there, there was like 10 of them. Then when I was actually at GameStop, there was only two of them, so I could have picked it up then, but maybe the next time I go Funko Pop hunting at GameStop, which probably will be like next week or something, maybe I'll pick it up then if there's still two pops left, or even if it's the last pop, then that's when I'm gonna go pick it up. So uh, I still have to pick up that pop and pretty much have this new set 
completed and for the most part I have pretty much almost all of the Yu-Gi-Oh pops completed once again since at one point I did have an entire set of Yu-Gi-Oh pops which hopefully very soon I once again complete the Yu-Gi-Oh set so that way I can move on to sets that I still need to complete also like example Crash Bandicoot where there's a couple or there's also the set on my wall that you can currently see which is the office and I'm actually only three pops away from completing that set. Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video of my Funko Pop Hunt at GameStop, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below on what your favorite thing you saw in the video was and what should I have picked up besides the Harpy Lady 3. And I hope to see you guys in the next video on the channel. One, two, three, I'm out of here.